loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space, I am going to be participating in a collaboration that is being hosted by my lovely friend Krista over at Crafty Kitty and it's the Summer DIY Collab. And for this summer, I have decided to make a kind of cabana bed for my puppies. I and Chad have a lovely gazebo in the back that he calls his cabana and we always entertain in there and the puppies are loving that space. They normally sit in there with us on the furniture but when we have a number of people over at the house there's not room for them to be sitting up when everyone else is in so i am making them their own little cabana bed to go inside the gazebo and outside when we are out in our backyard so i am showing you now all the items that i am going to use for this project i've never done anything like this so i am kind of flying by the seat of my pants but i am hoping it is going to work out the big white cushion that you see there, I already had in my possession, along with this cardboard box that Chad brought home for me from his work that they were discarding. So I thought I could use both of those pieces along with some white foam board, some contact paper that's in a wood grain from the Dollar Tree. The foam board is also from the Dollar Tree. Some fabric that I had already in my possession for another project that I decided not to do the grass skirt from the Dollar Tree. I have a couple of those. Some twine also from the Dollar Tree. And then some wood dowels. Some of these I already had, the short ones from previous projects were leftover pieces. And then these extremely long ones I picked up at my local hardware store. I also will be using some hem tape because Frankly, I don't want to take my sewing machine out, my hot glue gun and glue sticks, and then any other little adornments that I like to use. I also have some Gorilla Glue sitting there too in the clear because it is hot, very hot here in Michigan right now. And I'm not sure if the pieces that I need to hot glue will stay and the hot glue won't melt. So I'm going to reinforce it with Gorilla Glue. So let's get started on this project. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a box cutter and cut off the top of this box and then cover it in the contact paper. I'm using that just so the cardboard will be a little water resistant and it will look a little bit better. Now I have two chihuahuas if you haven't seen them on my channel before. So this bed is for two chihuahuas. If you have a much bigger dog, I would skip the cardboard box and use something like wood from a pallet or go and buy some uh, two by fours, not really two by fours, maybe one by fours to reinforce a frame around the cushion instead of using a cardboard box. But let's Okay, now I've cut my crossbars for the canopy and I'm going to use the fabric that I have here laying on the bottom with the blue and the beige background and make some curtains to go around the canopy. I'm going to cut out two panels for each side and use my hemming tape to hem them and then put them on the crossbar before I affix it to the top post. Some extra short pieces that I had and I took two pieces at a time and I put them at just beyond a 90 degree angle I don't have the exact measurements for this because you have to play around with it so I have two pieces of dowel I used the thicker ones that I had left over I placed them crisscross evenly apart just above a 90 degree angle I mean, you could probably do a 90 degree angle too, but I did it just above. Then I glued those two pieces together. 
Then once they were glued together and dry, I tied them with twine. And then I did that to another two pieces. And then I tied those with twine. Then I took the two sections together and tied them together with twine. And then after that, I simply set them on top of the frame I have here. I put each dowel end on the right side of the outer portion of the frame. I'm hoping this makes sense. You can see this one's on this right side, this one's on this right side, that one's on that right side, and this one's on this right side. Nothing is glued together, nothing is stable, but I'm not using this where someone's going to be touching the top of it. So now I'm going to hot glue all of these down. Okay, at this point, I was going to use foam board from the Dollar Tree to cover up the roof, and then I was going to use the grass skirts. However, I don't have enough foam board, so I am going to improvise, and I was going to use a garbage bag to stretch across the top, but I have some puppy training pads, so I basically took two of them and I cut them into large triangles and I'm going to use them to anchor the grass skirts so I can have my roof. Okay, so here is how this is turning out so far. I am sorry I don't have footage of me actually creating this faux thatch like roof on it, but I did save a piece of the luau skirt that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now this is the child size one and if they would have had the adult size one I would have gotten that one and I probably wouldn't need any more. What I did to do this is I took the first skirt and laid it down all the way around the top of the roof and glued it down. Then I started cutting off sections on all the other skirts and I used five skirts all together all the way off and then I took pieces, like half of this, and I twisted it in the middle or somewhere around there. And I had these little sections. And with these little sections, I put hot glue on them and then stuck them down as straw thatch to make my roofing. And it was that simple. So I am in love with how this turned out. If you can see, I also added some fairy lights underneath the top. The very and bottom there, I put a bone-shaped welcome sign with a little picture of a chihuahua. So let me take this outside so you guys can get a better look at it and I can let my puppies see it. So here is my final project outdoors, as you can see. It looks really cute here in my yard. It also mimics my gazebo that we have over there, though I have placed it here in the shade because it is 96 degrees today, I think it is, with 100% humidity, and we are roasting outside, so we are going to be headed back in any second now. I added to the front some extra material that I had left over from the cushion for ties and like I showed you inside it has fairy lights at the top. I also found a little tiny lightweight fan from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to be hanging from the interior and hopefully I will have that done later today though I don't think we will be utilizing this much because it is too hot to be outside. I want to thank Krista for including me in this collab. I will link her channel, which is Crafty Kitty, down below, along with the playlist of all the other participants in this collaboration. Also, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, and always sharing my videos. And if you're not a member here at Lacey Space yet, I don't know why not, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We have a lot of fun here. Come and hang out with us for a while. And I promise that most of my DIYs are not as involved as this one. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Lacey's Place, the same way that it's spelled here, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.